Hello and welcome to chapter 11, lesson 8. Today we're going to be talking about displaying measurement data on a line plot. So just a quick review, a line plot is a number line where we would have like votes. So let's say I had three one-half votes. One, one vote, and two, one-fourth, one, one-third. Okay, this is what a line plot looks like. Okay, so let's dig into it. Example one, six friends shared several foot long submarine sandwiches. The table shows the amount each friend ate. Make a line plot of the links in the table. So first, what we're gonna do is we have to figure out how many of each kind of vote did we have. Um, so one fourth appears how many times? So if I'm looking at my data, I see two one fourths. So we need to have two one fourths. One third appears how many times? Oh, three one thirds. So that means how many halves? One one half. Okay. So we're going to place the correct number of x's above each fraction on the number line. So one third, one fourth, one half is all between zero and one. So how many times did one fourth appear? Twice. So I'm going to put two x's above one fourth. How many times did one third appear? Three times. Okay. And one half appeared once. So this is the line plot of for our data. So the title would be, gives us the, always look back at your table because it tells us the title right here. Sandwich lengths in feet. So I'm going to write that for my title. I don't know, where should the title go? Let's put it below. Sandwich lengths. And then I need to put the unit is going to be feet. All right, let's keep looking. You can find the fair share. Okay, so this is a vocabulary word. It's in yellow, which means... You should remember this. You can find the fair share or the amount each friend would receive if the sandwiches were divided equally. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the measurements to find what is the whole, right? Because if we're talking about half of something, we don't know how much that could be. Half of an apple is much different than half of a watermelon. Right, so we need to know what is the whole. How many pieces are there total? So to find the fair share using the line plot from example one, we need to add the fractions to find the total amount of sandwiches eaten. Add the fractions with like denominators first. So we had two x's above one fourth. Okay, so I had if I take one fourth plus one fourth, I'd get two fourths. Hopefully your brain's telling you, wait a minute, two-fourths is the same as one-half. You're correct. It is. So we have a half if we add up our one-fourths. We have three one-thirds. That should give you a hint. If I cut a pizza into three pieces and I eat all three, how much of the pizza did I eat? I ate the whole thing. Um, one-third plus one-third plus one-third is three-thirds. Remember when we're adding fractions, we only add the numerators and the denominators stay the same because that denominator really talks about what size of the piece we're talking about, right? Remember, the bigger the denominator, the smaller piece we're actually talking about. So three-thirds is the same as one. Okay, so we have one-half, we have one. Now if I, I only have one one-half, so that's just going to be a half. So if I'm trying to add two halves and one, two halves would make a whole and one is a whole. So I have two holes, right? Because these two go together to make one and I have one here. One plus one is hopefully you're all at home on your computer saying two, two, Miss Hammer, one plus one is two. So two whole sandwiches were eaten. So then my second step so my first step was add the fractions. Second step, divide the total amount, two, by the number of x's on the line plot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have how many people? 
I had two plus three is five plus one more is six. So there are six people eating these two sandwiches. So how much would it be fair if, how would we be able to split it so that they would each get the same amount? That is what fair share means, right? If I have two sandwiches, two foot long Subway sandwiches sitting in front of us and I have six friends I have to divide it amongst, how much will each friend get? if I give them equally. So if I have, our, my, here's my two sandwiches, okay? And I take two and I divide it by six. Now remember, I've talked about this before, that we can write a division problem as two divided by six or two sixths. That's a fraction. That'll tell, tell us how much of each sandwich a person's gonna get. Let's reduce that. Divide by two, divide by two, and I would get one third. So if we're going to divide it equally among six people, each person is going to get a third of a sandwich. Okay, we can do it the model way too. I have two holes. I need to divide those two holes into six equal pieces. Each piece, each hole needs to be divided into three. And so that means each um, person gets one third of a sandwich. So if the sandwiches were divided equally, each person would have eaten one third of a sandwich, which isn't too much to ask. If I had to cut a sandwich into three pieces, that wouldn't be too bad. All right, let's try the next one. Make a line plot of measurements in the table, then find the fair share. Okay, so my numbers I'm seeing here are one fourth, one half, another fourth, and another half. Okay, so my first step was to do that. So I have one fourth. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. I have four one fourths. How many halves do I have? One, two, three, four. So I have four one halves. Okay, I'm going to say this is zero. This is one. So halfway between there is going to be one half. How many do I have? Four. So I put four X's. Okay. So to cut a number line into fourths, we usually start with a half, and then we go halfway between zero and a half to get the fourth, and halfway between a half and a whole to get three fourths. So now I have cut my number line into fourths. Okay, I have four fourths. And remember, to get the fair share of something, I need to add these all together. Okay, so I need to do four times one fourth. Four times one fourth, which is the same as four over four or one. And then I have to do four times one half. Okay, so if I put four over one, that'd be uh, multiply numerators, four, multiply denominators, two. Four over two, which if I simplify that, divide by two, Divide by two, let me scooch this little guy over here. Divide by two, divide by two, four divided by two is two. Two divided by two is one. Two over one is the same as, you guessed it, two. Okay, so if I add up my halves, I get two. If I add up my fourths, I get one. Two plus one is three. So I am talking about three gallons of juice here. So if I want to find the fair share, if I have three gallons of juice and I want to split it among eight people, right, I would do three divided by eight. And on the last one I talked about, that's the same as saying three over eight, three eighths. Can I reduce that? No. So the fair share is three eighths of a gallon. All right, so that means each person, if you remember, I don't know if we've talked about it yet on here, but how many pints are in a gallon? There's eight pints in a gallon, so we'd get three pints. Each person would get three pints. Anyways, let's keep going. The zoo lists the weights of several animals, homework page, in the table. Make a line plot of the weights in the table. Okay. So first thing, count the number of times each one appears. They did it for us. Here is our line plot. 
Okay, so refer to the homework helper to answer exercises one and two. Which weights occurred the most? We have a tie, one eighth of a ton, not pound. Make sure you're looking at the unit, see what it's in. One eighth of a ton and one half of a ton. One eighth T, capital T means ton, and one half of a ton. Okay, so how many pounds would half a ton be? A thousand, a thousand. Yeah, I can hear you yelling at me, a thousand. You're right. How many tons, how many pounds are in, is one eighth of a ton worth? So that would be if I took 2,000 and divided it by eight, right? So two, we'll go in there, 16, I have four left over. Right, and then a of 40 divided by eight is five, minus 40 is zero, so it'd be 250 LBs, pounds, equals one eighth of a ton. Cool, there we go. A little extra math, a little review from yesterday or whatever day we want, did these. Find the fair share. Oh, I should have done the extra math because I don't have space to find the fair share. I'm scooching up, uh, maybe to right there. Okay, so here we go. I have four one eighth. So I'm gonna do four times one eighth to get four times four eighths, four eighths, which is the same as one half, because four is half of eight. So I get a half. Um, two times one fourth is two fourths, right? Two times one is two. It's the same as over one times four is four or one half, okay, okay, got this. Um, then I have four one halves, four times one half would be four over two. Okay, if I reduce, divide the numerator and de denominator by two, I'd get two over one or two. Okay, so I have a half, a half, and a two. Two halves make a whole, one plus two is three. So there are three total Tons? Three tons, yeah, three tons. And then I need to divide it by how many animals are there? Eight, nine, ten looks like. Four plus two plus four would be ten. Three divided by ten or three tenths. The fair share is three tenths of a ton. Three tenths of a ton. Am I gonna be tricky and tell, ask you to tell me how many how many pounds would that be? Ready? Here's what we do. We take 2,000 divided by 10, which is really just moving our decimal point back one. Um, so one tenth of 2,000 is 200, but I need three tenths. So I need to multiply that by three. Zero, zero, 600 pounds. LBs, yeah. All right, next. Make a line plot of the measurements in the table. Thank goodness it doesn't ask us to find fair share. All right, so one half. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. Good, four. One fourths I have. One, two, three, four. Four one fourths, okay. And then three fourths. I have one, two, three, four. I have four three fourths, okay. So if this is zero, this is one, my half is gonna be in the middle. And then remember, halfway between zero and one is one fourth. Halfway between one half and a whole is three fourths. Okay, so how many halves do I have? Four. And how many fourths do I have? Four. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm making them the same Size, my x's are the same size. They're lining up nicely with each other. I'm not just doing willy-nilly, big, small, big, small, right? I'm making sure they're the same size, I'm making sure they're lining up. How many three-fourths? Four. Well, isn't that lovely? They're all four. What are we going to extrapolate from this data? There we go, all four. There's our line plot for the measurements in the table. Don't forget. Don't forget. Please don't forget. Your title, always a title and when we're doing any type of graph. So this is amount of cashews and it is in pounds, LB 
or LBS. LB is pound, LBS is pounds, plural. All right, let's keep moving. Refer the table in exercise three. <laughs> of course they're gonna do fair share. I got too excited here. All right, so we know there's four of each. So I need to do four times one half, four times one fourth, and four times three fourths. Remember, we always put four over one. Multiply numerators, multiply denominators. Four over two, if I simplify, I would get two over one or two. Multiply numerators, multiply denominators, uh, four over four or one. Multiply numerators, 12, multiply denominators, four. Um, let's simplify, divide by four, divide by four, and I get three over one or three. Okay, so I have one, two, three, and three is six. So now I have to take six and divide it amongst how many people I have, which is four, four, and four, so 12. 12 divided by six, top divided by the bottom, 12 divided by six is two. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Don't do that. It is not 12 divided by 6. It is 6 divided by 12. 6 divided by 12 um, is the same as 1 half because I would divide by 6, divide by 6, and get 1 over 2. So what is the fair share of pounds? It would be half a pound of cashews. How would the fair share in exercise 3 change if the table included two more 1 half pound measures of cashews? Seriously? Okay, so let's see. What was it? One half was equal to one, two. Um, one fourth was equal to, uh, that was worth one. And then three fourths was worth three. That's after we did all our math. You should have that on the same page. Um, okay, so if I add two more one halves, one half plus a half is a whole. Right, and so then I'm working with three, one and three, so it'd be seven. Okay, so I would have seven holes, right? And I added two more um, things of my data. So before I had 12, if I added two more, I would be adding 14. So I have to do seven over 14 as, and we all know that that's the same as one half, I divide by seven, divide by seven, I get one half. So it did not change. Of course, it wants us to explain. It did not change because we added two one halves and two, um, two times one half. And that is the same as one. That is the same as one. So really we added one whole, or we multiplied it by one. That's going to give us the same one half share. So let's go to the next. And final page, fill in the correct circle that corresponds to the best answer. Which of the following could be used to find the amount each person would receive if it was divided equally? That was the fair share. If it's fair of sharing, then we'd all get the same, right? What is the correct fair share for the measurement shown on the line plot? Okay, so I have two one-eighths. Let me move this up. I'm going to need lots of space for this. Two one-eighths. I have. One, one fourth. I have three one thirds. I have three one halves. Okay. So two times one eighth is equal to two eighths, or divide by two, divide by two, one fourth. This is equal to one times one fourth is equal to one fourth. 3 times 1 third is equal to 3 thirds or 1. 
3 times 1 half is equal to 3 halves, which is improper fraction. Okay, so if I do top divided by the bottom, 3 divided by 2 is 1. I have 1 left over, 1 and 1 half, or 1 and 1 half, okay? So let's add like denominators first. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 2 fourths, right? Just add the numerators. Denominator stays the same. Divide by 2, divide by 2, 1 half. Okay, so when I added those two together, I got 1 half. So now I'm adding 1, 1 and a half, and a half. So first, let's start by doing 1 half plus 1 half. That would give us another whole, right? So I have 1, 2, and 3. So our total hiking distance is going to be 3 miles. Now I have to divide it by how many x's are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 divided by 9. Now I need to simplify. Divide by 3, divide by 3. I would get 1 third of a mile. Boom. And do you know when you're finding fair share, you're just finding the average. You're just finding the mean, right? You've probably heard that average. I mean, where you add them all up and divide by the number of X's, divide by the number of votes. Um, so don't freak out. And if you ever see what's the average on a test or whatever, just know we add them all up and divide by the number of votes, by the number of X's or so you want to say. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.